finally. Let's do this. Ah, hello, YouTube. Hopefully this works out all right. Having just spent plenty of minutes trying to get my shit together. It's been a while since I've done a motor vlog. Let's go this way. I just thought it's a nice night. We're getting less of these towards the end of summer. Let's take you along for the ride. Oh, hello cows. So, I don't think I've done any motor vlogs since moving out to the new place. But I've done plenty of rides around the place and it is yeah I'm pretty fortunate with some of the roads I've got at my disposal now which is good fun so I thought I'll take you on me trying not to get killed by A-classes on back roads and show you some of the sights I I've got a new ND filter on as well to try and see if I can make the rides a little bit more cinema cinematography cine, 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 words the word with cinema in it cinematographic I don't know I need to google that words are hard so yeah this is just out um, for anyone interested rural, rural Aberdeen shares uh, it's uh, just outside Old Meldrum. Hopefully the microphone's picking this up. I struggled a little bit. I've always struggled to even get a, a repeatable vlog uh, set up where the sound's always really good. Sometimes you either get too much wind noise. I didn't take my uh, secondary microphone to capture the engine noise today. It was just a little bit. I wanted to get out and about for a lost light, if you know what I mean. So. of roads near me and you can usually get a 30-40 mile ride in quite easily which is really quite handy the best thing about it being north of Aberdeen the roads are real quiet and tend to be pretty quiet at night time so you can go out and not really see much else we had a fantastic ride out, well, drive out actually, I took the 911. Uh, it was a local a Volkswagen car club. Came along to that. And uh, my friend with his Tom, we've done that R8 video a few years ago. He was out. A few other people I know. One guy had a nice uh, 911 GT3. But we all went out and did some real nice roads. I the harvest! Sweet. I actually really like this house on the left. It's all abandoned, but I like its location. Oh shit, please don't kill me, tractor. I'd like to buy it. Probably not going to happen, but... So yeah, this is just a back road to a place called Tarvis. Tarvis? Tarvis! Tarvis. And um, Yeah, it's... Just one of many roads good on the bike because they're, they're, yeah, they're country roads but they're wide enough you can see stuff come in there's some good twisty turnies later on so yeah it's been a while since I've done one of these vlogs so if I sound like I'm muttering and bullshitting I apologise it's been a busy old year with not so much with a motorcycle but getting out and about to events we're at the Bike Shed show earlier in the year with uh, Shigley Shed XDR 1300 which was a great weekend and then at that Bike Shed show I was convinced by a few people to go to the Mallee Mile so there was a good few weeks getting the scramble ready for the Mallee Mile and that was uh, brilliant, I had never been there before 
what a weekend. But it's, it, it was um, yeah, a bit of work getting the scrambler ready, but on, obviously didn't get all the way through the weekend. It seemed to have a few issues. I've still not figured that one out yet. I pretty much have parked the bike up since I came back and not really done much since, but the, been able to get out in this beast a few times. Again, not as much as I would like, but loving to pick these opportunities when the time is right, when the weather's nice, just to get out after dinner, quick blast, catch a cool sunset if I can, blow the cobwebs away. I'm actually speaking to someone at the moment about buying a lathe. Oh, that's quite tight. Uh, Myford Super 7 just came up locally, about 5-10 miles from here. So I'm going to go up to one of the haunts I usually go to, pull over, see if you sent me a message, and if you sent me a message, we'll head over that direction, see what's there. Mm, nice range over. a big wheelie here by accident. <laughs> Last time I was driving through it, I just pinned the throttle and first in it. Funnily enough, the front wheel came up. But, but yeah, I'm waiting to see if this guy comes back a bit or leaves. And if he does, then I might go and see it. It's a little bit more money than I would be liking to spend, but... Um, But it's a damn nice wave. And it's got a whole lot of spare bits with it and I seem to be doing the man maths in my head. But it would be a nice size for the workshop. And the one Gus gave me was an awesome starter lathe, but the majority of stuff by machines can either be stainless Aluminium. I mean, aluminium is a bit easier to machine, but so if I could get something a bit more durable, so a bit more heavy duty, that would be useful. This is a cool road. That was a cool road, but... to sell it but every time I go out and it brings a huge smile on my face so just love the free twin the torque I was actually, if I was going to sell it, I was looking at one of those um, Yamaha MT ones, the the big street fighter type looking bike that came out of the factory, but it had the 1700cc Warrior engine in it. I think it's about 100 brake, just a little bit less power than this. I think it's maybe got more torque, but I think the thing I enjoy most about this bike is the torque. So that would be the, the only thing I would maybe trade it in for. Or a 
just personalize this a little bit maybe get the decal on a remark change the color of the tanks I do like the all black but you know me oh you know oh what out pigeons but it is uh <laughs> yeah it's good fun Here's a question for any of the five people that end up watching this. Does anyone listen to music when they ride? I don't know whether you, it's a, a conflicting uh, thing. I like to listen to music on my AirPods, but it's probably not the best for my hearing. But I do really enjoy it because it adds an extra element of fun to a ride the same way as sometimes having your favourite tunes on when you go for a drive I just don't know, is, is there a... Does anyone else do it? Does anyone else do it? Do think it's dangerous? People come back and say they think it may be dangerous which I'm not, I'm not really sure Riding a bike's fucking dangerous so... <laughs> I don't really know if there's much much more that listening to music can add but interested to hear anyone's thoughts any, any issues that I've not really considered that would make you think maybe I shouldn't listen to music. I guess there's the whole emergency services thing but if you can't see the um, the blue sirens then I'm going to go into this little uh, thing and see if the sky's got back to me at all. You can laugh at my attempts to do a U-turn. Christ, I really need to start going to car parks with just my um, just a big overcoat on and nothing underneath but um, I need to start going to look like YouTube see my password yeah it's not come back with anything I'll probably head towards Ellen anyway that's pretty good check again there later um, yeah I probably need to go to a this is Methlick not really showing the nice parts of it but, um, go to anyone else do that go to a car park and work in your slow speed skills I was watching a lot of that Moto Jitsu guys videos last year uh, don't know if anyone watches them he's quite a nice guy American dude I can't remember where he is, South, Southern California maybe? But he uh cruise on. Did that work? Yeah it did work. Did it? There you go. Thumbs off when you do it clutch in. Uh yeah, uh Moto Jitsu. There's a lot of cool videos. But yeah. Fucking flashing at you, old dick. Suck a bag of dicks. Uh, sorry, where was I? The. Oh, it's a pigeon. Yeah, Moto Jitsu did a lot of cool uh, videos just about bike handling, bike techniques, and it uh, teaches you all about just like safer riding, but to ride fast as well. But a lot of his, uh, a lot of his drills are all like. When you get onto the bike, just do like, do emergency stops, when you go on them, do U-turns, all the stuff that catches you out if you're not good at them. But one of his things is he promotes a lot is to try and get out to car parks and just uh, do a lot of slow speed manoeuvres. Flashing to each other, but slow speed manoeuvres. So. Uh, <coughs> This is quite a nice view as well.
door and I was going to try to open it. Probably wait for you to do an 80 miles an hour, but never mind. I mean 60 officer. to look at our ways. I still need to sort my garage out a bit but I've got a bit of a plan for that which I'll probably do a YouTube video on but I've ordered some more shelving just kind of want to get one half of it set up purely dedicated to just, just re-motorcycle tinkering a nice space for shooting videos just make it accessible it's not very accessible at the moment, there's still a few DIY projects I'm doing but But part of that is Yeah, trying to bring everything into the The one side of the garage, so Repurpose my old motorcycle bench, turn that into another actual bench And then bring forward the uh, Bring to the other side, the, the motorcycle ramp, bring that into the Right hand side of the garage so then I can just, mm, sure. I can do a lot of stuff, um, do everything there, I probably still have the, uh, the metal cutting stuff on the other side, store this bike through the other side, just refurbish it a little bit better, well, yeah that's it, please don't come out, Doris, strong houses. Maybe not these ones so much, but an M5. I've never actually gone left. Anyway, this takes us to Ellen, which is the home of Brewdog. The most polarizing beer for people. I like it, funnily enough. Hips are wanker. Yeah, strong houses. Maybe not the not the left hand side. It's two people. This is shit. So it was down at um, Halifax over the weekend there to see Vippy Clyro, Scottish rock band. Uh, play live at the place called the Peace Hall, which I'd never been to, I'd never even heard about it until about tickets. Peace Hall was this really cool venue, which had a hell of a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of appeal. Outdoor venue, good bars, Halifax is cool, I've never been before, so. But driving back up through the Yorkshire Dales, we came up the A65, I think it was. There was a lot of, uh, there was a lot of bikes. They looked like they were out green laning. Uh, there were a lot of like, bikes for backpacks, dirt bikes, but they looked like they were running between green laning spots. Which got me thinking, because there's no green laning in Scotland. Which is tragic, because look at the scenery. But the Mali Mile obviously got a little bit of a taste for using a dirt bike off road, like it should be used, well I know. I was wondering about getting the, uh, when I do get the scramblers fixed and back together I wouldn't drive it down, just put bollocks to that Well maybe I would ride it down, I don't know We're seeing about getting uh, some folk, see if we want to go green laning Just in Cumbria, Northumberland, not too far for us old Scots <laughs> Get a group of us to go, I think that would be quite good fun So. If anyone has done it extensively and knows some good routes around there, let me know. 
I've never done it before, I think it looks really good fun. Any pointers, anything you should know, anything you wish you knew when you first started. It wouldn't be a new hobby because of the, the distance to travel, but it would be a good thing to do and check off. So. so I've got a few more um, projects in the house to finish in the short term. I kind of used a lot of uh, precious XS750 finishing time on the scrambler. Oh, that's nice. Good lord. Uh, on the scrambler, getting that ready for the Mali Mile. And I'm aware that was about two months ago, but it's not really done much since. Uh, so, but it, it is obvious I need to get some house housing um, projects finished. Almost a clear space in the garage because there's a lot of MDF and stuff in there now. But then also to get myself freed up to allow me to progress on these other builds. Because the XS750 is just sat waiting there, it's a bit of a shame. It'd be nice to get that. Get that in a state where I can actually run it and enjoy it. Finish it, for fuck's sake, yeah, finish it. Here we are, Ellen. Now, I need to find a place to pull over and check my phone. See if this guy's messaged me. I think he lives here, but... Um, there's a co-op. He, he must have a car park. Fans on, better get running. I have no idea if this has worked. Hopefully the ND filter is made for some nicer... Uh... Ooh! Where was I? What was I chatting about? I'm going to just ride through Ellen, check one last time. If I don't hear from him, I kind of put it on him. Just kind of flirting with him and saying... I'm not... Uh... His lathe is out of my budget. It's 1500 quid, but they don't come up often. My for Super 7, loads of spares. I was just uh, told them where I'm at. Let's hopefully try and meet somewhere in the middle. In the same vein, I kind of want to figure out if he's. He doesn't want to lower the price or whatever, which is fine. People are. Will sell it for what they want. So you may not be in a rush to sell it, but also this is a nice wave. Almost bought a lathe the other day on uh, eBay. <laughs> this is where I find out one of my followers was trying to buy it. It was a Myford ML7, it's a smaller one than the um, the Super 7, and it was on for a decent price. It was on for about four. It was like three fifty, and then it was uh, one hundred and twenty quid to get it palleted, palletized, and sent to. Oh, look at that little chunk. Palletized and sent to not the owner of the dog. Palletized and then sent to um, uh, Aberdeen or my house. But someone else was hungry for it as well, and I had a price in my mind. I kind of, if I could get it for less than. Uh, 650 quid all in then for me it was a good deal because it was this it's not like this lathe this lathe is immaculate but I can't I'm not able to see this lathe at the moment well we'll see but uh, 
Yeah, so this one's obviously... Sorry, I just don't know my way around Ellen that well. I think it's pretty straightforward. But anyway, someone else wanted it badly. And I think I pushed the price up by about 150 quid in the last 40 seconds. So, that's fine. If I can't have it, nobody can. <laughs> An asshole, eh? But, anyway, I didn't win that. So, this one came up. And I thought, hmm. It would be quite handy. But we just need to, just need to see. Obviously, there's no point having a budget. Seems a bit counterintuitive to have almost no budget after setting yourself a hard limit, but it is a nice lathe, so man maths. So I'm just gonna go to the edge of the village here, check my phone one last time, and if the guy's not responded, he's not responded, I'll go see it another night. It's not, again, it's not that far back to my house from here, 10 15 minutes in the car and it's getting dark so I don't know how well the uh, ND filter will cope as well so oh. this house exposed I still want to build a house there's this company called um, Headphones that do nice houses, the kind of kit houses. SIP panels are called structural insulated panels. They're made by really energy efficient houses. They go up real quick, quite customizable. So it'd be cool to do that. That's the goal for the next place. Get a nice plot somewhere. Put one of them up. Put a full carriage up the end. See how it works out. Aberdeen property market is not kind. Having bought a place in the what appears to be the peak just before the bubble burst. It's a kind of shitty place to be. So I'm left with a flat, my old place that I can't sell, I have to rent it out. I don't really want to rent it out, but there you go. War is me. Maybe I should finish some motorbikes and sell them rather than just starting endless projects, but oh well. Right, I think I can stop here on the right. chance to practice a U-turn. Till then, do so many good offers. Forget that it's an island. Yeah, that's given him an hour and fifteen, he's not a message. Message him tomorrow. If it sells, it sells. Right, there's cool road on the way back, let's go do that. But first, let's do a U-turn. in the test. What oh, Christ, I failed. I failed. What an asshole. Why is it... I'm going to try it again. Is it particularly tight or am I just rubbish at this? Man, I need to practice these again. Not tonight. Another time. Let's just drive at excessive speeds along this road instead when you can barely do slow speed work. That makes sense, right? 